north south uh, rows that need to be collected and as I said we'll we'll take the train back to our yard grab the Anderson and get some contracts completed and uh, some money in the bank I mean the good thing about these three fields that we're doing here is there are no uh, worker fees except the tra travel between the fields okay 270 and back online there and we can go running across the field so I think I've done I've tidied up all the corners except from our perspective the bottom left is possibly not clear oops missed a bit Doop. missed another bit and I did mention the other day the pickup on this is not what I would consider the best a lot of the balers we've used and forage wagons um, do have a little bit wider swath collection and so you don't have to be super accurate in your positioning this one you do but it's a new baler came out at the last patch so uh, we're going to make use of it at least for now. Uh, come up. Ah, uh, well. And again, we'll go overhead for uh, what we've got going on here. Looking too bad, I guess. Uh, we did miss cutting a piece here. I thought we had. Um, I just couldn't be bothered to uh, deal with. now we're just ooh, squeak running the rows which will be a lot easier now I think so I'm kind of glad this 700 did come up on the store sales um, my personal opinion of farm sim machinery costs Fence aren't really worth it. You, you know, they're the same as the they're the same model as the Massey Ferguson, but they end up costing quite a bit more. And I think while that might be reflective of real world prices, it's amenities you get in the tractor that aren't necessarily reflected in the game mechanic. So I can buy a Fence 700, I can buy a Massey Ferguson 7S. They're technically the same vehicle, but you, know, you might have a little bit more luxury when it comes to buying the Fent over the Massey Ferguson. However, when it comes to uh, Farm Sim, I don't really care whether I've got continuously variable transmission at least up until farm sim 22 it wasn't so much of a critical factor i have noticed in farm sim 22 there does tend to be a little bit of um, a difference between power shift and cvt that sometimes it's much better to have a tractor with CVT than it is the 
power shift. That might not be true in the real world, but definitely as far as game, me game mechanic is concerned, it's worth it. But yeah, it has better air conditioning, it has a better stereo. I don't care. That's not reflected in game. So, you know, I tend not, you know, I, te I tend to look at the tractors available and say, well, I could buy a Fen or I could buy a, uh, a Massey Ferguson. Ah, to heck with it, the Massey Ferguson's cheaper, I'll buy that. But um, with the um, with the introduction of store sales. We used to have discounts back in Farm Sim 17 where every so often you'd get a sort of um, Massey Ferguson 5S is 20% off. Um, there was no game mechanic behind it, it was just you paid less for the vehicle during a fixed period. Kind of like the uh, um, oh, what is it? Uh, um, great demands. Yeah, there is a great demand for straw at uh, um, you know, the the bale sell point. Okay, fine. I will take some straw down to the bale sell point because I have some and I would like the extra cash. Um, it, that that was literally the mechanic involved. You're going to buy something cheaper, and sometimes it was a label. So all Pottinger machinery is ten percent off. Well, I was thinking of buying a mower, Pottinger make mowers, I'll go out and buy myself a Pottinger mower because I need one and it's 10% cheaper than it normally is. Um, Farm Sim 19 did not give us um, equipment discounts. And that, that I, th I think as far as Farm Sim 17 concerned, that's probably the best description of it. it it's, a, it's an equipment discount, it's not... Um, it wasn't really a, so much a sale. Um, with Farm Sim 19, you have, or sorry, Farm Sim 22, you have used equipment. And the used equipment is, in some situations, noticeably cheaper than a new piece of equipment, but it's um, older. So it's going to wear out faster. It's going to. Um, I think that's the the main thing. It's the 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 co the cost of repair is not cheaper, um, but the frequency in which you need to repair it is close to the worst it can, or closer to the worst it can be. Um, whereas, um, yeah, buying new equipment, you keep it long enough, it's going to end up at the point where repairing it is going to be the worst it can be or the, the frequency of repair is going to be the worst it can be so you're just um, making that um, worst it can be point sooner buying a used piece of equipment but you get the use of the equipment for a much cheaper amount so you know it's it's not it's not so much a bad thing, but consequently, um, I've I've made use of used equipment far more um, in Farm Sim 22 than I would have previously. Because the equipment discount in Farm Sim 17 was just, uh, it's a random thing and you have no idea what and when it's going to be. But it would make, oh I could buy a Fen because Fen are being sold at 10 or the Fen I want is being sold at 10% cheaper than the Massey. It does make the price point different and functionally they are identical equipment, pieces of equipment. Identical horsepower, identical tyre functions etc etc I think in some situations it's more noticeable between New Holland and Case where the tractors the horsepower is the same um, Case tractors support front loaders 
on a higher horsepower than uh, uh, the New Hollands. So you could buy the New Holland T6, you can buy the, the power equivalent in a case, they both take a front loader. But you go up to the T7, you can't fit a, a front loader on a T7, at least not the base game T7. Some of the mods might allow you to. But the equivalent tractor in the case range supports a front loader. So at that point, there is an argument to be made that I want to buy the case because I want the option of having a front loader on that big of a tractor. But yeah, since I wanted... It was kind of getting to the point where I needed to replace the Deutz. Um, we'd had that from almost the start of the game. Um, and it's a lovely tractor, but... Um, I wanted to get a little bit more flexible with our tractors um, over time. So we're probably going to have another tractor the size of the Fent or a little bit larger. So we bought the Fent with that in mind. It doesn't have quite the same horsepower as the, the Deutz had. And again, um, you know, similarly, I think with the Massey Ferguson, we probably, I do like the Massey Ferguson. It, it does serve the farm well, but I think we need something in the 180 horsepower range. And so, And the yeah you know, the Massey won't stretch for that. The biggest you can get 145. Um, would I specify it with front loader options? Possibly not. I mean, we bought the Massey as a front loader tractor that can do a few other things. It doesn't have a three point hitch on the front. It, um, but it is fully specced for front loader operations. But now we have a telehandler. So, use of front loader arms on the, uh, turn it off, lift the thing up, fold it up, fold it up, thank you. Um, yeah, the telehandler is more, you know, I'm, I'm using that more um, on the arable, f on, sorry, on the animal farm. And I kind of need a tractor attached to the uh, straw um, straw blower or the TMR mixer the Massey Ferguson has the horsepower for that so um, the Massey Ferguson hauls the attachment out and then I load it using the telehandler I can't load it using the the Massey Ferguson because the Massey Ferguson doesn't have the reach in some cases and um, I need it on the on the tool itself so yeah that's the thing now if i get a bigger tractor that's the thing i could get a bigger tractor to operate the uh, that machinery and i could then justify having the massey ferguson as a loader attractor because it's then not attached to the mixer or the, the shredder but I can't justify having two small tractors, I don't think. Um, we, can, we can get a bigger one. Um, I can use it on the implements for animal care. And I can probably haul the Fent baler. I can, f um, I can still Ted and, Ma and uh, uh, Windrow stuff with it. So, yeah, we'll get rid of the Massey Ferguson. That'll become our all singing, all dancing um, yard tractor for the animal farm. And the telehandler will be the thing that lifts things up for us. Okay. Actually, you know what? While we're heading back to our yard, I can... Um, 
service this. So we'll replace a couple of the broken blades on the uh, the mower and uh, and get that ready for the last two contracts. The reason that is aging for or that is wearing out faster than the front mower, the butterfly mower was in the store sale so it's a used piece of equipment it has a greater age it wears out quicker than the front mower the front mower was a brand new piece of equipment hence that okay so here we are back here I think I am going to get rid of one of these two sheds probably. I'm going to keep the silage clamp just in case I need it for maize silage. Uh, that does mean that when we get into maize silage I'm going to need either a forage wagon or a, uh, a wagon for forage. Um, yeah. A forage wagon that lifts forage off the ground because we dumped it there or I'm going to need a uh, um, a wagon that's designed for uh, you should probably not be doing that let's turn you off for a minute because the little wagons we have I think while you can put forage in them they're not um, optimized for for forage things okay, I'll drop that there thank you back up and we are going to need the weight on the front I don't know game wise I actually need the weight on the front with the Anderson we're going to put it there Okay, and try not to embarrass Long Hauler as we reverse through the yard. Ugh. Potentially I'm going to knock that trailer into the corner. I may... L I don't know yet. Um, one of the things I am considering... Oh, shoot. Is... Uh, if we get a bigger tractor, um, I'll switch the little Deutz round baler that we have. Which is a wonderful little round baler. Um, I may switch it for a square baler and we may do straw and hay on square bales and then use the telehandler to plonk them on the back of the bale trailer that we've had since pretty much day one that we pretty much haven't used since day one but it was on sale so I figured at the time oh I'm going to need a bale trailer. This one's on discount. I'll buy it. The Roland trailers, again, in my mind, are overpriced for what they are. However, if they're on sale, being equipment damage on an old trailer doesn't seem to have much in-game effect. Like, um, with tractors, uh, they lose horsepower with um, with things like cedars and headers they run slower and don't do as good a job so you kind of want your production equipment um, in tip-top condition so your harvester your header your cedars your sprayers all need to be in tip-top condition when you use them but things like grain trailers and bale trailers and 
even front loaders and the various uh, spikes and what have you they don't need to be um, in tip top condition because there's no um, no adverse game effect like the weight on the front of the tractor it doesn't get lighter because it's more damaged so I can let a weight go to 0% condition it really doesn't matter it's going to cost me more to fix it but there's no in-game benefit from doing that I think Giants could expand the uh, the effects of not repairing your equipment but again I think that some pieces of equipment should not be factored into the whole maintenance damage mechanic like weights unless they may I mean the thing is is that they could make it that um, well uh, you know the weight needs maintenance because where it connects at the front here um, yeah, maybe the pins are bent or broke, sheared off or something. The problem with that is I can't then pick up the weight and take it somewhere to get it fixed because I can't attach it on anything. Um, so losing the ability to, t to attach a front loader arms or whatever. Front loader arms, you know, you could have issues that, okay, the hydraulics are leaking, so um, it won't lift until you fix the hoses and connections uh, but again um, you need to be a, you must be able to connect it and at least lift it off the ground so you can drive it down to the maintenance facility and so this equipment yeah while it does make sense that there should maybe be some repercussions in not maintaining it um, you need to be able to relocate it to the workshop um, if you find oh it is damaged I need to get it fixed I forgot to get it fixed when I dropped it off and now I can't reattach it that's a problem unless you give us other ways of manhandling the equipment somewhere So I could use loader arms and a, a pallet fork to pick up a weight, stick it on a trailer so I can take the weight over to the workshop and work it. But anyway, that's for Farm Sim 28 or whatever. The next one's going to be... How am I doing? We've got 14 so far. Now, obviously, I won't be able to claim all of the contracts that we've completed the mowing of immediately if they end up. I've got no idea what sequence the game's going to credit us with deliveries. As I said, the, the hay we did on Saturday. Um, I waited till I'd, have, I'd mowed all the fields, I'd baled all the hay and then I took one Anderson trailer down to the cell point and that thing completed all four of those quests uh, of all, those, all four of those contracts so uh, I didn't have to worry about when I claimed them obviously I still had another trailer load of bales out in the field so I had to go and collect all of the bales before I could complete all of the contracts but the second bale load just went straight back to our yard to uh, sit in the cow shed sit in the feeder robot section thing whatever uh, we seem to have filled up the uh, the dubri and I seem to have got stuck on a bale so that's awesome 
And I have got stuck on a bale. Well, that sucks. Um, that's not going to work. That works. And yeah, my fault there. I wasn't paying attention to how full the trailer was. So three, six, nine, twelve, about fifteen left here. So I can't. I can't claim field one oh six yet. Um, again, I haven't tested to see if I can go back and pick up the bales I've left on a field that I've completed the contract for after I complete the contract. Um, and I don't want, you know, I don't want to risk it. Because that would be bad. I've got, as I said, 15 bales there. At the very worst, they're all mine. So, uh, I want to be able to pick them up and claim them as mine as opposed to see them sitting there in the field with nothing I can do about it. Or well, the only thing I can do about it is buy the field, grab the bales off and then sell the field back. And we're playing with uh, sort of realistic field economy which means that field prices fluctuate and selling a field always sells for less than you paid for it, even if the percentage is the same. So, uh, yeah, kind of want to avoid selling fields once you've bought them. Okay. Um, I think I am planning on adding realistic um, or enhanced loans but not right now and I am planning to um, add course play both of them I've got downloaded I just haven't done it yet because that's too much their scripting mods like the 